One thing that has kept Bowers and Wilkins at the forefront of great audio is their devotion to creating new ways to strive for that elusive goal of live sound in your home. But the real secret to this devotion is how they always seem to figure out a way to incorporate what they learn in their no holds barred products into more affordable gear. Since their flagship line of 800D3 speakers go up to $30,000 a pair, not all music lovers can afford something at this level. This is where the new 700 S2 series comes into play. These share much of the high-tech materials and ideas found in the 800D3 series at a much more affordable price point. If you want to read our article on the 700 S2 series, head over to audioadvice.com by clicking the link in the description. There we take a deeper dive into the 700 S2 series. Along with that review, you'll find hundreds of other reviews, comparisons, buyer's guides, and much more. Now let's take a look at the new 700 S2 series from Bowers & Wilkins. For this overview, we will talk about the tech all or most of the models share, then go into each speaker itself so you can understand which model might fit your long-term listening goals the best. For simplicity purposes, I'm not going to say S2 after every speaker model, but know that every speaker I refer to is in the 700 S2 series. One thing that will jump out when you pull the cover off a 700 series is the silver color of the Continuum driver. BMW pioneered the use of Kevlar for drivers decades ago and has used this for many years. Their Continuum driver has far lower distortion than any other material their engineers could find. All 700 S2 speakers use the same great new driver technology. BMW uses a very lightweight carbon dome for the tweeter, allowing them to extend its frequency response to more than double the range of human hearing to an incredible 47,000 Hz. If you were to take the tweeter apart, you would find an inner and outer dome, which reduces distortion. What our ears hear with this carbon double dome tweeter is a high frequency presentation that is light and airy. Symbols really take on a lifelike quality with never the slightest trace of harshness. Decades ago, BMW invented what they call matrix cabinet bracing. The idea of a speaker enclosure is to let the speaker drivers do their job without adding any coloration or change to the sound. BMW found through their laser analysis that by applying a lot of internal bracing that the cabinet added far less to the audio signal. The 700 speakers have triple bracing inside. To improve the sensitivity of the 700 S2 series, they all have ported cabinets. This type of design is very common in loudspeakers. However, many companies just stick in a little port and call it a day. But Bowers & Wilkins team analyzed all kinds of port designs to come up with the one that performed the best in these. If you are thinking about the 700 series for your home theater, rest assured you will have totally consistent sound for your surround sound as they all use basically the same drivers. This provides a seamless experience for special effects that pan around the room. Now let's get into the specifics of each model in the 700 series. We will break this down into three sections. The tower or floor standing speakers, the bookshelf or stand mount speakers, and the two center channel speakers. There are three models of towers in the series, the 702, 703, 704. The Continuum driver is used exclusively for the mid-range frequencies in the tower speakers. The mid-range driver also gets a new type of basket that uses aluminum cast optimized chassis to further reduce distortion. All of the 700 S2 floor standards also use a base driver called their aerofoil profile cone. Unlike most woofers, its thickness varies which they designed using advanced computer modeling developed for the 800 series. One thing that you'll immediately notice about the 702 S2 is the separate tweeter sitting on the top of the cabinet. The housing is milled from a solid body of aluminum with a tapered shape to minimize diffraction. It is also recessed to time align it with the other drivers. You'll also get the deep and fast base with the three six and a half inch airfoil woofers used in the 702. We do highly recommend you use the optional support plinth, which adds some size to their footprint, but anchors them better for improved bass and mid-range. The 702 is also the easiest to drive of all the models with a sensitivity of 90 dB. However, we suspect anyone investing in a pair of speakers of this caliber is going to know they will perform better with a great amplifier. We also felt they imaged better towed in just a little bit, but not too much. 
When you move down to the 703 S2, you'll have a more conventional speaker cabinet design with the double dome carbon tweeter housed inside the cabinet. The 703 has two woofers instead of three in a slightly smaller cabinet. You'll still want to use the optional plinth for setup and take some care in setting them up. To our ears, the mid-range is very similar in presentation, but the top end does not feel as open in areas as 702. Bass is very fast, but lacks the same punch we get with the three drivers in the 702. Don't get us wrong, it has awesome bass, but if you have a large room, we suggest you spend the extra grand and get the 702. The 704 S2 uses 5-inch drivers instead of the bigger mid-range and bass drivers used in the 703 and 702. However, if you don't have a big listening room, this one sounds great for the money. With the cabinet being narrower than the 703, we think it presents a better sound stage and those dual 5-inch aerofoil woofers are just super fast. The mid-range also sounds quite effortless to our ears as well. The 704, with the caveat of a smaller room, is probably the best bang for the buck in the entire lineup. But don't scrimp on the amp. They are a little harder to drive than the two bigger ones, and an amp with more control can extract faster and deeper bass from the dual 5-inch drivers. All of the bookshelf models in the 700 series are a two-way design that uses the continuum driver as a combination mid-range and bass driver. The 705 is the top of the line bookshelf and like the 702 uses the separate milled aluminum housing for the tweeter. These get down to 50 hertz, which means in a small room, unless you like deep organ music or hard rock, they will be fine without a sub. Of course, Couple them to something like the BMW DB4 sub and you'll have a combination with great imaging, a super sweet and open sound, and deep, fast bass. Which gets us to the big question. With these being the same price as the floor standing 704, which is the better for your situation? The tweeter is better in the 705, but it does not have the base extension of the 704. If the price of the 705 tops out your budget without leaving room for a good sub, you have a modest to large room, get the 704. However, if you already have a fast sub and can put the 705s on their matching stands out in the room, you'll get the sound that makes you smile. With the 706, you basically have the 705 cabinet with the tweeter mounted normally inside the cabinet. Bass response is identical. If your living room or home office needs a bookshelf speaker that can blend in without visually calling attention to itself and you want that great BMW sound, the 706 is probably your best choice. This is the smallest bookshelf using a 5-inch mid-range woofer unit. It's about 2 inches shorter and 1 inch narrower than the 706 and is $500 less for the pair. We feel these are an ideal surround sound speaker to use with a 700 series home theater system. The 707 is not that easy to drive with its sensitivity of only 84 dB, so that is something to keep in mind. However, the 707s on their dedicated stands, a good amp, and a great sub is a pretty compelling combination. You'll find two center channel speakers in this line and we'll make it easy for you. Unless you cannot physically fit the HTM71S2 in your cabinet, you should buy it over the HTM72. The HTM72 has a great center channel, but the HTM71S2 is flat out amazing. If you look at the difference in the two models, the HTM71 gives you a dedicated mid-range driver with two airfoil woofers coupled with a carbon tweeter. It is 8.5 inches tall by 23 inches wide and almost a foot deep, but wow, it is one awesome center channel. This is compared to the two combination 5-inch mid-range woofer units you'll get in the HTM72. If you're putting together a 700 series complete home theater system, the extra $500 for the HTM71 is the best money you could spend. We hope this brief overview of the Bowers & Wilkins 700 S2 series has given you some insight into which models will work best for your music or home theater system. As always, if you have any questions on the 700 S2 series or any other home audio or home theater gear, be sure to give us a call or chat with one of our experts at audioadvice.com or stop into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great home audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time.